How's it going everyone? Manus Bada here, bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. So today we're going to have a very chilled pack opening, followed by what may be standard or, what, or maybe theme games, I haven't quite decided yet. Um, but regardless, we're going to start off with a pack opening. So these packs were sent to me by Jamie Viggy once again. Huge shout out to Jamie, it's really really cool and he's really helping me grow my collection quite a lot. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we've got some Hidden Fates booster packs to open up. We've got a Power Arsenal to open up. And Rocco Tennis 19, how's my friend? How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty well, thanks. I think today's gonna be a really good day. And hello, Ghost 1927. Um, yeah, I think today's gonna be a really good day. Starting my day off with some Pokemon, which is always really good. And actually playing some board games this afternoon, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, finally, for a long time, being able to go and play some board games. So I'm quite excited about that. So yeah, opening up some Hidden Fates, hit, opening up a Power Arsenal. Opening up a Burning Shadow, some Burning Shadows packs, opening up some Crimson Invasions, eh, a bit of, uh, one of a, a Sun and Moon, and a whole bunch of hit Fates Collide, which is really, really cool. Um, and hey, I'm Jam18. Thanks for following, my friend. That's really, really awesome. I hope you enjoy it here. And hey, man. Uh, glad I finally caught a stream. How's it going? Yeah, I'm glad you finally got, uh, arrived on time. It's really, really exciting. It's going well. I think today is going to be a good day. Got some Pokemon going and got some board games after that. So today is going to be a very nice day. So, um, as for opening up, I want to open up my locked packs first. I haven't actually opened up a Sword and Shield pack in ages. So, let's see how, how today is going to start off. One of these locked packs, none of these cards are tradable. But there's certainly always cards I could be using for my collection. And I'm seeing Galarian Zigzagoon, which is really cool. Because I still want to build the Zigzagoon. Oh, that was my fourth one. I was about to say, I thought I didn't have a full set yet. So I'm really got a full set of, of really glad I have a full set of this headbutt tantrum. Because I think it's a really good deck that I can have a lot of fun building. So I must get around to that at some stage as well. As for the rest of the pack, nothing too exciting. Um Like, I like Team Yo Grunt. It's a pretty cool trainer. It's not super fantastic, but it's a pretty decent trainer. And what do we get for our first one? Ah, another Corviknight. Not terrible, not great. All right, so let's get going. Um, chat, what do you want to see first? The Hidden Fates? Do you want to see the Shining Legends, the Burning Shadows, or the Fate Collides? The Unbroken Bonds I'm keeping for trade material. But yeah, what do you want to see, chat? Fates Collide, Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, Shining Legends, or Hidden Fates? In the meantime, let's open up my locked team up and see what I can get. Anything interesting? Nothing too fantastic so far. I like that Weedle though, it's quite cute, that artwork. But nothing too fantastic. And we get ourselves a uh, Martiana, not a great pack, but hey. Hidden Fates? <laughs> Hidden, Hidden Fates, both of Racco Tennis 19 and Hey, uh, hey I'm Jam 18. That sounds like a plan to me. Let's see what Hidden Fates can open up. Always nice opening opening up some more for your collection. So Slowpoke, Magikarp, Charmander, Psyduck, Paris, Magmar, Jinx. Another Metapod, which is always quite nice. Not a fantastic one though. Alright, what do we get? We got two. Well, hello. Um I'm pretty happy with that as a first one. I know Giovanni's Exile is not a fantastic card. But I got some ideas for it. But yeah, Giovanni's Exile is not a fantastic card, but that's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful full art. Describe two of your banished Pokemon that you have no damage counters on them and all cards attached to them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, best of best of friend Donna. Hey man, I started watching your videos yesterday and they were great. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying them. Welcome to the stream and I'm glad you're able to pull by. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the content. I'm loving making them, so I'm glad people are enjoying watching them. Um, I hope you have blessed pools. Thank you, Racco Tennis. It looks like we're off to a really, really good start. Uh, if only it was boss's orders. Jam, I wish this was boss's orders. Like a full out boss's orders like this would be amazing. Uh, best friends bought Soaring Skies and went like 8-0. Yeah, man, Soaring Skies is such an awesome theme deck. I'm not surprised you're having a really good uh, win streak with it. Feromosa. High jump kicked for 90 and White Ray. If you have only one prize card remaining, this attack does 90 more damage. Not a fantastic Elder Beast, but pretty decent either way. Yeah, Soaring Storm is such a great... Uh, Soaring Skies, sorry. Um, Soaring Skies is such a great theme deck. 
Um, if you're a new player and want to pick up a theme deck, it's a really, really good place to start. Um, arguably, in my opinion, it is the best theme deck at the moment. Um, as I'm finding a lot more reliable than Relentless Flame. Uh, Misty's Hulian Gym. The attacks of Starmie GX, both yours and your opponents do 40 more damage to the opponent's active Pokemon. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. Very thematic. I quite like it. Another double. Let's see what we get. Hey, Misty's Water. Apparently, this is a Misty's pack. Move any number of water energies from your Pokemon to your Psyduck, Horsey, Staryu, Starmie GX, Magikarp, Gyarados, or Lapras in any way you like. That's pretty cool. I like that. And what do we get? Oh my word. I wish this was a real life pack. Holy cow. Okay. Um, shiny Charizard GX. <laughs> oh, I wish this was a real life pack so bad. <laughs> wow. So, well, this is my second Charizard GX, but this is my first black Charizard. So like the shiny Charizard. Oh my word, I wish this was a real life pack. <laughs> oh, this is such an amazing pull. Holy cow. Okay. <sighs> Today is apparently going to be a really, really good day. <laughs> Whew. Well, I can pull a very beautiful Charizard GX deck now. I think I need to. <laughs> wow. Okay. That just happened. <laughs> I either just used up all my luck for today's stream or today is going to be a really, really good day. Wow. Okay. Yep. Yeah, shiny, Ch shiny Charizard GX. Whew. Today is going to be a good day. Jamie and Vicky, thank you, my friend. This was an amazing pull. Wow. This thing retails for like $300 in real life. Oh, man. That is crazy. I'm... Okay, well, yeah, chat, that is crazy. <laughs> Let's keep going. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Um, coughing, Voltorb, Pikachu, Magic. I'm still like blown away. Holy cow. Hey, we got Misty Gym and we got Pewter. And we got Brock's Pewter Gym. Our next GX with yours opponent take 40 less damage from opponent's attacks. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Another Kogo's Trap. That pushes me to three now. Um, which is quite nice. I'm not only saying one. I've actually got three Kogo's Traps, but anyway. And got ourselves a... Well, hey, there's a Starmie GX for the Misty. These packs have been really good so far. Oh my word, these packs have been really good. Chat, props to the suggestions. I'm really glad I opened up with these. Star Stream, 40 damage for attached to water energy from discard power to one of your Pokemon. Spinning attack, 100. And then Hydro Pump, uh, 40 plus 40 for every water energy. <sighs> yeah, that's really cool. It looks like a Starmie deck can definitely be in the, in the works. Another Giovanni's Exile, I've got a lot of them though. Wow, these Shining Legends have been great packs. Gee. Another Koga's Trap. I've got a full set of Koga Traps now, which is really nice. Ah, a nice different art style for Brock's Crit, which is quite cool. Shiny Ekans, and... Ah, another Bill, Bill's Analysis. This is actually a really good card. I look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal up two trainer cards you find there and put them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. It's actually a really nice trainer. I've got, I think... Uh, I want to say I've got two copies of it already. So I think that's my third copy. All right. Um, hey. Uh, hey, I'm Jam18. On the off topic of theme decks, I love Towering Heights personally. It's so consistent for me. And it can be so dangerous if you get through online early. So 100%. Hey, Jim. Um, the Towering Heights is still a fantastic theme deck. Um, 100%. Like, I'd recommend playing it if you want to be uh, getting crazy wins on the Versus Ladder. So the really nice thing with that deck is if your if your opponent plays unnecessarily aggressive against you and you've got a Thor sitting on your bench, um, you can do really, really well with it as an early 
uh, as a really early thrall, can just absolutely sweep your opponent. So if your opponent's, I want to say, inexperienced enough that they just put 10 damage on your active Pokemon during their first turn, like if they go second, and you're able to switch that Pokemon out for a charge up thrall, you're swinging turn 2 for 120 damage. Very few Pokemon can tank that on the first turn. And the ones that can tend to be uh, normal types, which means you double effective against them. So, Towering Heights is a fantastic deck. 100% uh, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun, and I'm, yeah, again, I'm not surprised you're doing well with it. It's a great, great theme deck. Alright, we got we put an Arbok with Last Pattern. If this Pokemon is knocked up a damage from an opponent's attack, discard two random cards from your opponent's hand. That's actually pretty cool. And Rocket Tail, if Jesse and James is in discard pile, this attack does 80 more damage. <laughs> I like that card. That's very. I, I like that a lot. It's very like play. It was very true. Paying homage to um, the anime. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, hey Jim. Uh, honestly, Towering Heights, uh, like Towering Heights and, Bo and Unseen Depths are both such great theme decks. Like they just work. And like you said, they're consistent. They're a lot of fun to play, and I really enjoy playing them. Cubone Sharpshoot. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. I wish there was just one energy. Like, for two energies, that's just not great. Well, I definitely have a full set of Kogos Traps now. And a full set of Giovanni's Exiles. Alright, we got another double. Can we pull off some crazy luck again? Okay. A pretty bad of free, I'm okay with that. And... A Zapdos, not bad. Hurricane Call, flip four coins for each head, search a deck for energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon GX or Pokemon EXs. It's not bad. Bolt on V is a lot better, but it's certainly not bad. I mean, this is only giving away pri one prize card as well, so arguably it's got something going for it. But it's not terrible. Um, yeah, it does look great. It's a very pretty card. I'll give it that. Uh, got some Eevee, a Clefairy. Quite nice Clefairy artwork. Geodude. I'm such a sucker for Geodude. So I've said in the past, I'm such a, such a Brock fanboy. 100% Brock fanboy. So like any Brock card, I just love. So, well, any Brock Pokemon, I just love. I mean, like I've said before, Onyx is basically my favorite Pokemon. Well, it is my favorite Pokemon. And I think that is just because I'm a Brock fanboy. And the same goes with Geodude. Like, any game that has Gen 1 Pokemon, and I have an option to run Geodude, I run Geodude. Uh, Graveler, Mudslide. Discard two fighting energies from this Pokemon. This deck does 8 damage to one of your opponents. That is a terrible card. Brock Skirt, Scyther. Alright, another double? What can we get? Got Blaine's Last Stand. You can play this card only when it's the last card in your hand. Draw two cards for each fire Pokemon you have in play. It's pretty cool, but so situational. It could be pretty cool, but it's so situational. You run like an Ultra Ball or something with it. Oh, hey, it's a shiny Magnemite. That's pretty cool. Searching Magnet. Search your deck for up to three um, energy cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's really, really cool. It's a shiny Magnemite. Oh, I'm happy with that. That's a really cool pool. I don't know how I'm ever going to use it, but that's a really, really cool pool. Alright, let's open another. We've got two left to go, and like, so far these have been really, really awesome pools. Um, then I've got a shiny Graveler, which is something, I guess. We've got a Farfetch who's loving his leak. And what do we get? We've got another Misty Cerulean Gym, which is actually quite nice. And our final card. Well, hello. Moltres, Zapdos, and Arcticuno GX. This is a nice pool. Uh, Trinity Burn, 210 damage. And Sky Legends GX. Shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. If this Pokemon has at least one extra fire, water, and lightning energy attached to it, in addition to the energy's cost, this attack does 110 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness resistance for banished Pokemon. Yeah. Awesome, awesome card. That's really, really cool. Huh, I'm happy with that pool. Um, yeah, hey Jim, I've seen a lot of a lot of decks run this. I have to build a deck around it. Um, I think I actually have another copy of this card as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so really cool to build build a deck around this. All right, let's open up our last one. Can we get some more last pack luck? So far, these pools have been really really awesome, and we've got two sitting on the back there. So I think you can pull out something really good. So. Clefairy, Staryu, Psyduck, Ekans, Paris, Scyther, Magmar, Charmeleon, Eevee, beautiful Eevee, 
beautiful Eevee card art. So I'm very happy with that already. And... Ah! A Froakie. With Frubbles. If this Pokemon has any water energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost. Not fantastic, but all things considered, that, that pull with the shiny Charizard, I don't even know how, it, how I would top that. So, yeah, um, honestly, the highlights from that, from that set of pulls, what, what I want to say for Pokemon, was 100% to the Charizard. 100%. I've now got a Rainbow Charizard GX, and I've got a Shiny Charizard GX. Um, so yeah, that was 100% the best one. Uh, best of friend Donna, yeah. The Charizard was sick. Awesome, awesome one. So that was really good. I'm going to open up the Power Arsenal in the meantime. Chat, let me know. Are we opening up Shining Legends, Burning Shadows, or Fates Collide? Chat was super lucky last time, so I really want to hear what you say that, uh, for this one. So, the quest of the Cubone, Marowak, like that's a better sharpshooting. Bone Windmill, if your opponent's actually Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, which this Pokemon won't be benched Pokemon. Eh. Dodiro, Dodrio, Suna, Pillow Swine, Push Down. That's also always quite nice. And Gathering Footsteps, the attack does 10 more damage for each retreat. For each energy in the retreat cost of your Swinna, Pillow Swine, and Mama Swine. That's quite interesting. Uh, thick Fat, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from Water or Fire Pokemon is reduced by 30. And Primordial Boom. If you have a Stadium card in play, this attack does 40 more damage. If your opponent has a Stadium card in play, heal 40, 40 damage from this Pokemon. Oh, well, that's quite interesting. Sududu. Watch and learn. If your, if your opponent's Pokemon uses an attack during his or her last turn, use it as this attack. Well, that's not bad. Howlucha and an awesome Zygarde EX. Uh, Land Pulse, if there's any Stadium card in play, this attack does 20 more damage. Cell Storm, heal 30, and Lands Wrath 400. Awesome. I actually quite like this Zygarde. It looks quite cool. Eco Arm, shuffle three Pokemon, two cards from Discard Pile into your deck. Well, that's pretty cool. Ultra Balls, Max Potions, Trainers, Mails, Pokemon Catchers, Silent Lab. Ooh, hello. Each basic Pokemon in play, in each player's hand, and each player's discard power has no abilities. Really cool card. And Parallel City. I've got, I've got to read this upside down. Choose which way this card faces before you play it. Any damage done by attacks from this player's Grass, Fire, Water Pokemon is reduced by 20. And choose which way this player's this player can't have more than three banished Pokemon. When this card comes into play, this player's discard this player discards bench Pokemon until he or she has three Pokemon on the bench. That's pretty cool. I've never seen Parallel City before. That's really, really cool. Huh, I like that. Alright. And Steven. Teammate, oh, teammate is quite nice, but like you gotta get super lucky with it. Maxi's hidden ball trick. You can play this card only with the last card in your hand. Put a fighting Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench, then draw five cards. It can be super good. Giovanni's uh, scheme, quite nice. It's like an opposite of a tape and Lisa. Draw cards into five cards in your hand, and during this turn, your Pokemon's attack to 20 more damage. You gotta choose one, but it can be very useful. Delinquent. Discard any stadium card in play. If you do, your opponent discards three cards from his or her hand. Wow, that's cool. You can use this to get rid of that Chaos Swell. Prof Sycamore. Oh, you got an Assault Vest. Um, Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them is reduced by 40. Oh, that's quite cool. Um, Bursting Balloon. If this card is attached to one of your Pokemon discard at the end of your opponent's turn, the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack. Put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Oh, that's quite cool. And then Strong Energy. This card can be attached to fighting Pokemon. The Car the, this card provides fighting energy only while this card is attached to a fighting Pokemon. The attacks of the fighting Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Very, very nice. And then basic energies. So this deck was sent to me by Jamie Viggy. Once again, thank you so much. Really cool deck. I'm keen to give it a try. Alright, chat. What is your what is your luck sending me this time? Alright, so... Hey, uh, hey, I'm Jam says Fates Collide. I remember buying a bunch of those in real life when it came out. Uh, Rocket Tennis says Burning Shadows, put another Charizard. <laughs> and Best of Friends says any packs, uh, any packs you want to open will be blessed. I don't have a coin now to flip. I don't know which ones I want to open up. So we've got Fates Collide or Burning Shadows. 
Um, hmm. So. Okay. I'm going to do 10 Burning Shadows, 10 Fates Collide, 10 Burning Shadows. Let's go for that. Let's see what happens. All right. So, because I got 20 Burning Shadows, I got 10 Fates Collide. So that way it's like 10, 10, 10. Sounds cool. Let's see what we get. All right. Uh, nothing too fantastic so far. I've got all these cards already. Another Ace Roller is always quite nice. All right. We get ourselves... Hey, it's a uh, Evo Shock Raichu. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. And then Volt Tackle. Eh. But the paralyzed thing is really cool. And... Well, hello, uh, Necrozma GX. It's nice to meet you. Lights End. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from normal Pokemon. Prismatic Burst. Discard all Psychic Energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 60 more damage for each card discarded this way. It's a bit difficult to get going, but okay. Black Raid GX. This attack does 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX. Damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. <sighs> it's an awkward card. It's an awkward card, but it could be pretty good. Okay, I'm glad I opened it. Difficult to, I think difficult to get online, but it could be really, really good. Yeah, the luck is good today. I'm feeling like today is a really good lay. Lay. Really good day. It's like flowing really well. <laughs> Pikachu. Uh, some more bodybuilding dumbbells. And... So you know how best a friend Donna you were saying like the luck is really good today? I think you might just be right. We just opened up a gold choice band. The attacks of this Pokemon... Of the Pokemon's card attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active uh, GX or active EX. I think this has got some good trade material. So I'm just saying, like, today, today might be a really, really good day. <laughs> Jamie, my friend, whatever you did to these packs before you sent them to me, do it again. <laughs> this is really, really good. This was a nice pull. Today's pulls are going really, really well. Wow. I don't know what's happening today, but today is a really good day. Um, another double. Let's see what we get. Uh, oh, Dust North Dark Invitation. Once during your turn, you may have your opponent reveal their hand, put a basic poke when you find there, put it onto, your, onto their bench. <sighs> like, I wish this was better, but it's just not that great in standard. Um, yeah, Record Tennis 19 is an amazing pool, 100%. That gold choice band, crazy good. And eventing and anger Gyarados, which is not terrible. Um, this deck is 50 damage to each Magikarp in your discard pile. Wait, wait, what? This attack does 50 damage, oh, for each, I thought it said two each. For each Magikarp in discard pile, and then Splash Burn. This attack does 30 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Eh. Um, not fantastic. Uh, Rocket Tennis 19, hopefully pulls keep coming. We've got a lot of packs to go through, so I really hope they keep coming. And best of friend Donna, it's just the karma doing wonders. Hey, thank you, my friend. All right, let's keep this going. All right, 17 packs to go. Today is feeling like a really, really good day. So I'm really excited about these pulls. A very, like, stealthy Metapod. Also, I really hope you can't hear my AC. I'm, like, dying of heat today. And to, to record this, I'm sitting in, like, the corner of my room. So it's like, my room is here, right? My PC is here in this little corner. So I've got a heat trap in the first place with my PC at my feet with the fans, the extracting fans blowing in my direction. Don't ask me, but it's the only way I can set up my PC. And I've got then my green screen right behind me. And I've got like my, my TV cabinet on my left side. So I'm literally sitting in a little heat trap with my doors closed because my girlfriend's sleeping. So my room is so, so hot. So I have to have the AC on. So I really, really hope it's not making a noise. Also, it got fixed this week. I am so happy. I'm not dying of heat with fans going 24-7. I can put the AC on every now and again just to cool the room down. So I'm happy. But anyway, back to this pack. Sorry, huge tangent there. And... And a lot of eradicate. Okay, not fantastic, but it's a cool one with the free attack with Enhanced Fang. I actually want to run this with, like, the Cursed Shovels just to troll my opponent. Zero noise? Fantastic. Thanks for letting me know, best, uh, best of friend Donna. I'm glad you can't hear it. 
means I actually got my settings right for once. Which I'm really excited about. Alright, not a fantastic one. Um, that's actually really, really good. But unfortunately, your turn ends. Eh, it's pretty, it's decent. Alright, and as we're all thick fat, eh, not a bad one. And what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Eh, Luminous Barrier, Nine Tails, not great. Bit of a disappointing pack, but hey, you gotta get some bad with some good. It can't all be good. Alright, you gotta take the good with the bad. I love Gloom, it's such a derpy Pokemon. <laughs> I love it so much. And. Ooh, a Mudstail. Kick away, your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon and Vigorous Dash. This Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I like that Mudstail. Alright, let's see what else we can get. We've got another Rotom Dex, which is quite nice. Alright. What are we getting? Mirror, Rhyhorn, Sandigar, Sork, Esper, Electabuzz, Super Scoop Up. Uh, another Plumeria. Discard two cards from your hand. If you do so, discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. I can actually use it. I've got some ways I might want to use that card. And ah, a shiny Tangrowth, which is quite nice. And another Persimian. Intentional Grounding. Discard a Pokemon two card from your hand. If you don't, this attack does nothing. Not great. There's better Persimians out there than that. All right. Let's keep this going. All right. Ralts, Alolan Vulpix, Hootoot, Lediba. I always forget about this Pokemon, right? Because you just never see it. It's like, it's such a weird Pokemon. It's one of those Pokemon that I just forget exists. Um, Super Scoop Up. I think I've got a full set of Super Scoop Up. Oh, I've got six now. Okay, cool. So I've got enough of those. Nice shiny Rhyhorn, which is quite cool. And uh, another Tangrowth. Apparently it's telling me to build a Tangrowth deck. <laughs> All right, um, I wish Giga Drain did more damage. 30 damage, like really? It should be at least 60 for Giga Drain. All right, what are we getting? Noibat, Alone Grimer, Rylu, Cutify, Dewpider, Bodybuilding Dumbbell, Simipole, Soul Rock, and a Shiny Persimian. Not bad, but not great. And a Slowking. I don't think this is the first one I've opened. A Drift Ashore. Search your deck for a card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's not bad. It's a fetch. An unarmed. If you have no cards in your hand, ignore all energy in this uh, attack's cost. <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah, he really likes you. The Tangela really likes me, that's for sure. <laughs> he wants to come say hi. Let's see. This is our last one to go open up in this set, and we're going to bump across the other boosters. So Lone of Alpex, Hossi, Noibat, Alone Grimer, Rylu, Soul Rock, Escape Rope, Gloom. First shiny Buffland, which is quite nice. And hey, a Zygarde. 150 HP, Land Crush for 80, and Core Enforcer. Discard a Dark Energy and a Fairy Energy from this Pokemon. Not bad, but the GX versions are a little bit better. All right, some decent openings. Uh, nothing mind blowing just yet, but we still got 10 to go. So let's open up these Fate Collides. So, let's see what we can get. Fate Collides were for Heyam Jam 18, so let's see if we can get these going. So, let's see. We've got ourselves Jigglypuff, Snivy, Dealing, Carbink, or Safeguard, that's not bad. Ralu, Team Rocket's Handiwork, flip two coins. For each head, discard two cards from the top of your. Oh, that could be quite cool. Flip two coins. For each hit, it's got two cards on top of your opponent's deck. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, on average, like you're discarding two. Which is a bit worse than Bryce uh, Man. But at least you're not milling yourself. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sensino. Uh, that's a really nice uh, Solossus. Really nice Solossus. Mini Link. If Solossus is on your bench, it takes 30 more damage. That's really cool. It's a very nice shiny. And <laughs> Dancy EX. Beautiful, beautiful card. My word. 150 HP and Sparkle Veil. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, any damage done to your Pokemon by an opponent's attack is reduced by 30. And then Wonder Stage. If there is any Stadium card in play, this attack does 50 more damage. So, like, 
it's not a fantastic card, but it is beautiful. I mean, this card art's got to be one of the most amazing I've seen. This is such an amazing Dancy EX. Like, wow. Like, I'm, like, this is one of those cards, if I had, like, if it was in real life, this would be the first card in my rare file. Just because it's beautiful. Oh, I like that. Damn, I'd like to have that one in real life for my niece. Yeah, I'm, uh, I wish <laughs> I wish I could give it to you, my friend, in real life. Um, yeah, this Deancey is just so beautiful. Such a great card. All right. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's open another. So many of these cards I wish I just had in real life. I really wish I could play Pokemon in real life again. There's just no places near me. No game stores, which is really irritating. And none of my friends play. Old Amber Aerodactyl. Look at the bottom seven cards of your deck. You may reveal an Aerodactyl you found there and put it onto your bench. Oh, that's quite cool. Uh, since you know, Shauna, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards. There's better cards these days. Helix Fossil um, Omanyte. Look at the bottom seven cards of your deck. You may reveal an Omanyte you found there and put it onto your bench. Eh, not bad. And... Oh, Delphox. Flickering Flames. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now off sleep. And Psystorm. This stack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all Pokemon in play. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And it's a fire type Pokemon, which means you're getting more than enough fire energies down in the field. Alright, let's see what we're getting. Spoing, Solaris, Barnacle, Rialu, Minsu, Kabuto. I love fossil type Pokemon so much. Uh, Ladrid, Fairy Drop. Heal 50 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any uh, fairy energy attached to it. Very nice. And, oh, a very nice shiny Lucario. Vacuum Wave. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. And Fight Alone. If you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this takes 60 more damage for each Pokemon. Each, for each Pokemon fewer you have in play. That's really cool, actually. That's a very cool Lucario. Very, like, true to Lucario as well, which is really nice. And, uh, Bob, um, Barbarical. Um, hand block. If you have a stadium card in play, your opponent can't attach any special energy card from his or her hand to his or her Pokemon. Um, hey Jam, you know what? I'm feeling a gold energy today. I don't know why. My man, if I'm able to open up a gold energy today, I will be so happy. So happy. <laughs> I hope your gut feeling is correct, hey Jam. I really hope your gut feeling is okay. This is on point today. Another slot, uh, slosses. Rialu, Sporing, Diglett, Lavatar, Halucha, N, not bad. Braxian, got a fairy garden. Each Pokemon has any fairy energy attached to it, there's no retreat cost. That's quite cool. And. I was just saying how awesome Team Rocket's handiwork would be, and I get this. A full art Team Rocket's handiwork. Well, not full art, sorry, but a, uh, yeah, full art. Team Rocket's handiwork. Man, that's cool. This is really cool. Uh, I'm quite happy with this pool. Team Rocket's handiwork. Full art. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, yeah, I like... I just put another discard deck. I, I'm a, such a sucker for multi-type decks. I don't know why. I just am. Um, I like the different play styles, and it's a different way to win the game, which I quite enjoy. Bronzor, Mincino, uh, Wormadon, the Evolution Spray... I could use that actually. Bronzor. And another Lucario. Not fantastic, but not bad. Alright, let's see what we're getting. Wismus, Snivy, Fennekin, Jigglypuff, Rialu, since you know. Hey, got a special energy. A strong energy, which is quite cool. Huh. You're half right. Hey, Jim. So far, you're half right. Bent Spoon. Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to this Pokemon. This card. Wait. Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage. Done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. Which is quite cool. And... A Lugia. Oh man. Such nostalgia. Pressure. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, any damage done by attacks from your opponent's active Pokemon is reduced by 20. And intensifying burn. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, this attack does 60 more damage. This Lugia should be so much stronger. 120 HP for Lugia is just not fair. It is said to be the guard in the seas. It is rumored to have been seen on the night of a storm. Ah, such a stalcher. All right, let's go for another one. Let's see what can we get. Seal, Lavatar, um, Wallaby, Burmy, Coughing, Pupitar. Energy reset. Put as many energy attached to your Pokemon as you like into your hand. 
Yeah, okay. Servine, Serpentine Strangle. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. That's not bad. A shiny Coughing. And... Ah. Uh, Ranu... I can never say this Pokemon's name. Runiclus? Runiclus? I can never say this Pokemon's name. Link Fusion. If S loss, if loss is on your bench, the attack does 30 more damage. If Deoxion is on your bench, the attack does 60 more damage. If Ronclus is on your bench, the attack does 90 more damage. I know I'm butchering the names, just deal with it. I can never say this Pokemon's name. Hey Jim, I'm pretty sure my very first theme deck was a Lugia deck. It was pretty good when it first came out. That's really cool. Uh, hey Jim, like, I, I like that nostalgia. Um, I'm trying to think what my first theme deck was. I want to say it was those old starter sets, like the old... Put this card onto your bench only with the effects of old Amber, Amber Aerodactyl. Bite and Jet Draft. This card is special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. It's actually pretty cool. And best friend Donna. Too many names to pronounce all of them right. <laughs> I agree with you there. There are a lot of Pokemon names these days. We're over like 900 these days. It's actually terrifying how many Pokemon there are. All right, let's keep going. These packs are taking a long time to build. I don't know why. Yeah, they really are a crazy amount of Pokemon these days. Gothita, Wisma, Minnesota, Volibee, Larvitas, and Sino, Shuckle, Hydaberry. Draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. They can actually be really cool with that uh, Aerodactyl type deck. Fairy Garden, Wisma, or well, Fossil type deck. And a uh, shiny Delphox, that's quite nice. All right, let's keep going. Today is, today is looking to be a really, really good day. Not bad, we open packs for like 40 minutes. Um, let's see, Diglett, Snivy, Slossus, Gothita, Mincino, Energy Reset, Servine, Sean and Braxian, and a Motham. Uh, Wormodon first. As often as you like during your turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your Wormodon to another of your Pokemon. Um, this thing here, got a message from Jamie Viggy. Don't forget the code if you didn't see it. Really want to see... Oh, okay, yeah. I'm not going to say, say it on stream. I have entered the code already. Uh, I entered it just before I started the stream uh, because I wanted to be surprised for the stream. Um, so, yeah. You'll be seeing it, Jamie Viggy. 100% you'll be seeing it. Also, hello, my friend. Uh, I'm glad you actually be being able to check out the channel. Uh, I see I've, my stream has dropped. What has happened? I see my stream has dropped. Have I still got a connection? I've still got an internet connection. All right, um, okay. Is everyone back online? I see my stream dropped there for a second, which is really weird. And my camera is doing really weird things on my face. That was a bit weird. Okay, uh, looks like everyone's back. Yeah, I stopped for a while. That's really weird, Rocco Tennis. I'm not sure what happened there. I think my net just decided to act up. Hmm. Okay, well, I hope it stops. Okay, let me know in the chat if it keeps happening, because I might have to, like, reset the stream for some reason. I'm not sure what's happening. I don't know why I'm getting an issue. I'm also getting issues with my camera today. Sorry about this. This is really weird. Okay, let's keep going. Let me know if there's any more issues. I might have to reset my stream. Okay. Um... Oh, that was my last one. Oh, man, that was my last one. I wasn't actually paying attention. Okay. Well, that was really cool, though. Uh, I'm quite happy with those packs. Alright, let's finish off those Burning Shadows. Okay. So, back to Burning Shadows. Let's see what we can get. Um, Caterpie, Lidibur, Inkay, Crabcrawler, Tynamo, uh, Bombi, Honey Gather. Once you can turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Oh, that's not bad. Um, uh, Guzma, Whirlipede, Crabrawler, and... Oh, nice... I uh, like rock. Dangerous claws. If your opponent's active Pokemon is base Pokemon, takes 30 more damage and corner. The defending Pokemon can't reach you during the next turn. Not a bad pack for going back to Burning Shadows. Jax Metz. Welcome, my friend. This is the first time I'm seeing your name. Hey, this is my first time checking out your Twitch. I really enjoy your content on YouTube. Hey, welcome to the Twitch. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, thanks for coming through for the chat. 
Uh, I'm glad you enjoy the, the content on YouTube. Um, I enjoy making it, so I'm glad you enjoy watching it. Yeah, we're doing some pack openings today. And for those of you who weren't here at the start, it's like Jack's mates, check out the amazing pool we got today. How beautiful is this card? Jamie Vicky, thank you for this card. <laughs> so yeah, this has been the highlight for me f so far for today. So, been a pretty good day though, but like overall, there have been some amazing, amazing pulls. So today's been a really, really good day. Let's see if we can continue this luck with some Droning Shadows. Um, this has been a really good Saturday. I mean, been put, been getting pulls for the last uh, like 40 minutes or so, and like they've been pretty good. All right, nothing new at the uh, for the first bunch of cards. Let's see what we get. We got two here, and we've got ourselves a shiny Palo Sand, which is not bad, and a Ho O G X. Hello, my friend. Ho O G X. Um, Sacred Fire. This attack does fifth damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, and Phoenix Burn. Uh, this Pokemon can't use Phoenix Burn during next turn. Eternal Flame G X. Put three in any combination of fire, GX, Pokemon GX, Pokemon EX from your discard pile onto your bench. Awesome card. Um, yeah, Jack what uh, sorry, best of friend owner, that Charizard alone is crazy. Yeah, it's so crazy. I wish that was in real life. Uh, Jack Smets, yeah, uh, that card's insane. Fantastic. I agree with you there. It's crazy awesome. Um... And Racket Tennis, I was playing a theme deck tournament and my opponent flipped heads with his agility five turns in a row. Rocco Tennis, I feel your pain. I've been in that situation and that's why I truly hate that running up against Lettuce Flame. More so because of like, what irritates me the most about that deck is that Rapidash. That agility is so, so broken in the theme format. The reason I say that is because like, it's not that amazing a standard. Because in standard or expanded, any other format where you build a deck, there is a lot of gusting. Where, when I say that, you can return your opponent's active Pokemon to their bench. You can do that very easily. Well, every deck runs it, right? But in theme, very few decks run it. Which is such a huge problem against that card. Because there's just no way to deal with it. You've basically just got to sit there tanking 60 damage every single turn. And you've got no way to get through it. It's one reason why, like, that card alone makes Relentless Flame a fantastic deck. Because you've basically got a 50% chance of your opponent doing nothing on the next turn. Because there's so few ways to get through it. Sorry for ranting, but it drives me up the wall. Um, because it's just so broken in theme. Uh, Best friend Donut, damn, Ho-Oh looks sick. Yeah, this card's artwork is awesome. I'm loving the card artwork. Jack Smith agility uh, flips way too many heads for me. No, it does. Like, it just feels so broken. And like, it drives me mad. Whenever I'm playing it, I seem to always get tails. Whenever I'm playing against it, there's just so many heads. Like, I know it's biased. And I know I, you remember the bad more than you remember the good, which is why I'm probably saying that. But it's such a frustrating card to play against because there's just no way to deal with it in theme. Um, hey, uh, hey, I'm Jam18, cough, cough, boss's orders. No, 100%. Like, 100%, it's easy to deal with in, sta in like, when you're building your own deck. Because you're going to be running Pokemon catches. You're going to be running boss's orders. Escape ropes, Guzmas. There's a hundred different ways to get rid of it. Those cards are very rarely present in the theme decks. I mean, you, you look at the three most recent ones, right? You've got um, the Ruler Broom deck. You've got the... Um, the Real Boom deck, the Intellian deck, and the... Oh, what's the third one called now? The one with the rabbit. Um, whatever, the rabbit deck, the fire deck. I can't think of the Pokemon's name right now. Um, you've got those those three decks. Only Intellian runs Pokemon Catcher. So, like, those other two decks can't deal with agility, which is just ridiculous. Um, best of friend, Don, 100%. RNGs laughs in our faces. It really does. Like... You get those days where you just get such bad luck, and it's always at the most awkward time. Like, I've had it when I've down to, like, one prize card, and my opponent gets, like, five or six ag agilities off in a row. And it drives me crazy. Um, yeah, it's so annoying standard. But, like, in standard, I feel like you can deal with you can deal with gusting your opponent. But in theme, there's just no... There's so few ways to gust your opponents. 
Potown. Whenever any player plays a Pokemon from their hand to evolve one of their Pokemon with three damage counters on, on that Pokemon. Such a fun card. Ham Jam, but one, but one copy is worth like two. Um, which card are you talking about, Hey Jam? The... Oh, Cinderace. Thanks, you, Jack, uh, Jax Max. That's the Pokemon I was talking about. Which card are you talking about, Hey Jam? Uh, but one copy is worth like two RCL. Which card are you talking about? Uh, the ho -Oh. oh, boss's... Oh, boss's orders, yeah. No, I agree with you there. Um, boss's orders is so great. And then Darkrai. Very nice. Hypnoblast. Sorry, I went to a huge rant there about the agility. You can tell how much it frustrates me. Like, that is the... Like, that is probably the reason... Actually, that is the reason I hate that deck. Uh, it's just that agility... That agility breaks, like, the theme format, because there's just no way to deal with it. Anyway, rant over. I don't want to carry on going back to it. It just frustrates me. <sighs> Another golden card today! A golden rescue stretcher! Open up a golden choice band, and now we open up a golden rescue stretcher? This is some very nice trade material right here. Uh, very nice trade material. Alright. Uh, so I'm scrapping my phone, um, just in case I got another message. Yeah, no. All right. That is an awesome, awesome tra uh, trade material card. Another golden treasure. So the thing is, like, the golden cards for me, as I'm still, like, building a lot of decks, these cards are more valuable for me as trade material than collection material. If this was real life, this card would never leave my file. Um, but for this, I don't know. Like, I want to keep the cards, but the position I'm in, the trade material is so valuable. But yeah, really nice pulls today. Today is a really, really good Saturday. It's a fantastic Saturday. Cat Sorry, I hit my mic there. Uh, very cute Caterpie. That is a very cute Caterpie. I like that. <laughs> that is a very cute Caterpie. All right. And... Eh, a Persian with Screech. During opponent's next turn, if any Pokemon takes 60 more damage, and then Slash. Not bad. That Caterpie, I like this pool just for that Caterpie. It's super cute. I'm such a sucker for bug type Pokemon. We still got five of these packs to go, and they've been really good so far. All right, got a more poison survivor, which is interesting. And eh, shining beware, not fantastic. Well, hello, got a support GX. First impressions: If this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon this turn, this deck does 90 more damage. And I'm oppressed. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks. And Crossing Cut GX, switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Pretty cool. So you can essentially, like, Crossing Cut and then come back for first impression, which is really cool. Um, hey Jam, I feel you. Building a good standard deck is so hard these days because these cards, like Jirachi and Dedene, are so expensive. Yeah, no, they are. They really are expensive and it's difficult to build these decks. Um, the prices of the Jirachis and the Dedene should have just gone down because of the Trainer's Toolkit that just came out. So the Dene's price should drop or should be dropping at the moment. So it should be easy to build them. And the same goes with Jirachi. Um, the Jirachi's prices have dropped a little bit. Granted, they're still super expensive. Um, but they should have dropped a little bit. Um, let me actually check something. Hey, Jam, I might actually have some spare Jirachis. I don't know if I have a full set of four. I can't actually remember. Uh, I just have four. Okay, never mind. I thought I, was ho I thought I had five or six. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, let me, I'll hit you up with one of them, but I don't actually have enough. I'm sorry. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, it's difficult building a standard deck, and especially like if you're going free-to-play, playing Pokemon online, it can be very, very difficult. So 100%, I get you there. All right, open up a Meowth deck. Not a fantastic pack, but it is what it is. Um... Jax Metz, I built a Nuzzle deck for standard and it's really good and cheap. It destroys Peak Rum and two prize decks. Yeah. Um, Nuzzle's a really good format. Uh, who sent me one? Was it Jamie Viggy? No, it wasn't Jamie Viggy. Someone said... Sorry, I completely forgot who... I was going through my Discord messages this morning, so the names are kind of muddled up. Someone sent me a Nuzzle deck, which I really want to try. Um, because they're actually really cool. Like, the nu Nuzzle decks in standard work really, really well. Ah, oh, another Meowth deck. Um, they work really well. Um, I really want to build like a hand kinesis deck. 
I'm quite interesting. But it's just thrashed by Marnie these days. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a really cool deck, and you can have a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's one of the decks like I haven't actually built yet and played, but I've gone up against it quite a few times, and it's been a lot of fun. I've been a real, real challenge every single time going up against it. Uh, Rocket Tennis, I'm playing a Blacephalon right now. I need to build a Blacephalon as well, because I opened up two last week. So I need to get around to building one of those decks as well, because it's really, really cool. I just completed my deck yesterday, I'm loving it. It's a really cool deck. Um... And I want to get around to building it as well. Because I've gone up against it and it's a lot of fun to play against. Alright. What can we get? <sighs> what is happening today? Another Ho OGX. What is happening? Oh man, that's beautiful. Gee. Today is a good day. Today is a really good day. Wow. Jamie Viggy, what did you do to these packs, my friend? Oh my word. Today is such a fantastic day. Like, I generally have, like, decent luck with pack pulls, but today is just mind-blowing. Oh my word. Talk about last pack luck. Jeez, like... Today is a crazy day. Alright, well, um, I'm tempted to open up these bro unbroken bonds. I'm actually going to open up five of these today because these pools have just been so crazy. I might want to go like 555. Five, five. So let me open up. Let me, I, I'm actually going to open up these unbroken bonds. These pools today have been crazy. Like, I've got a good feeling. Today might be a really good day. Um, hey, uh, hey, I'm Jam18. I'm building a Green Zora deck right now. Can't wait till I get all the cards. I'm almost done. Getting on the trend. I don't think I've gone up against a uh, Gonzoro deck. A Gonzoro deck. I don't think I've actually played against one. I hope you can get one together. It could be really, really cool. What are you still looking for? Uh, got a Tangrowth. And got ourselves a... Crow a Soundveil Crobat. I really like the Soundveil. The Soundveil is a really, really cool ability. And it's got Severe Poison as well, which I'm a sucker for. It's just, it's stage 2. Stage 2 is on a really bad spot right now. Alright. Let's see, I'm opening up five of these because I'm feeling like the luck is flowing today. Let's see what we can get. Uh, got another Marshall's Dojo, which is quite good. Um, actually, got another Venonat. I've actually been looking for more of these Venonats with radar eyes. So I'm actually really happy about that pull. And then Clefable. It's not fantastic. Uh, best of Fredonna. It's all the accumulated luck after losing all the coin flips in tournaments. <laughs> best of Fredonna, I agree with you there. <laughs> I'm finally getting some of my luck back. Honestly, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with losing some coin flips for these pulls. I'm, I'm okay with that luck trade. Alright, what are we gonna get? Uh, Licky Licky with Tungnado. And Eater. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon 2 cards. Uh, it's not a great Licky Licky, there's better ones. Uh, hey, I'm Jim Jam. Just some GX cards that I have that are hard to cut to get because I, I have like two uh, Like two rebel clash packs oh, Okay, well, I I'm glad you're getting there like it's it's so rewarding building a deck when it finally comes together And there's some really good stage two cards coming out next set I haven't looked at the new set because I'm like I'm trying to keep it as like a first reveal for when it actually comes out Because um, yeah, like there's so many good basic Pokemon out right now um, that, like, with all the Vs and the, like, the Gmax, the, like, the Pokemon Vs and the GXs and the EXs, there's so many good basic Pokemon out right now that, like, building into a Stage 2 doesn't always feel worth it. So I'm glad they're putting some more value into Stage 2s, because I feel like they've been lost recently. Um, eh, not fantastic, but hey. Um, hey, uh, hey, I'm Jam18, nice licky licky, my favorite Pokemon. Uh, it's a cool Pokemon. I like it. Um, I'm glad it's your favorite. It's very interesting. Very like a trolley. Uh, hey, Ockfox. What's up, man? Uh, thanks for coming by for the, for the stream. You've missed some really great pulls. You're going to enjoy this video when it comes out on YouTube. Um, today has been a really, really good day. Really good day. Another Crocodile. Ah. Uh, not a great five packs from these. Looks like my luck kind of ran short there. Uh, to just show you some highlights, um, Arc Fox, like just, just, just 
feast your eyes on what this card is. Just, just, just look at that card. That just got pulled today, right? So Charizard got pulled, which is crazy. Um, these got pulled today, which is crazy. One ho -Oh GX on the left and one Alt Art. Just saying. Um, managed to pull a... Oh, we're gonna cool. Uh, that's not working. Managed to pull a rescue stretcher gold, which is crazy cool. And I was able to pull out a gold choice band as well, which is really, really cool. So, like, today's been a really good day. Like, it's been crazy. I mean, like, that's just some of the highlights. I can't even go through everything because, like, when I say today's been a good day, I mean it. Today's been a really good day. So. 100% watch this on YouTube when it comes out. Uh, I'm probably going to put it up to... I don't know if I'll be able to do it tonight. I might have to do it tomorrow. Because uh, I have a really busy day today. But yeah, today has been a crazy good day. So we're going to open up five of these Crimson Invasions. And then I'm going to go f uh, like five and then five back to this. Uh, Jax Metz, I pulled a secret red Charizard once. But I traded it for stuff I needed in the moment. And I wasn't thinking about the future. The card's worth like $300 now. Ah, I'm sorry, my friend. Um, some, but the thing is, like, sometimes, like, you just, you need to do it. Um, so, like, the same thing happened to me a few years ago when Snapcaster Mage first came out to Magic the Gathering. Um, I traded that card for way lower than its value because I was, I was in the process of building a deck. And, like, if I held on to it, it would have been great value down the line. But it gave me really good value for the deck I was building. So I didn't regret doing it. And I feel like, even there, Jax Max, like, if the deck you built was worth it, like, it's not a bad trade then. Like, yeah, holding on to it for down the line investment is, it's arguably really good and it is arguably worth it. But I mean, if you're able to build a good deck out of it, I'm sure that deck, like, you enjoyed playing it and you were able to put it together. So it's still worth it. I, I wouldn't regret doing something like that. Um... Sometimes, like, you trade a card away and... Look, you're sad to see it go, but it gives you the gratification of building the deck you want. Counter Catcher, you can play this card only if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponents. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. That's pretty cool. And... Type Null. This is actually, like, this is actually a really cool card if you're building a mill deck. Because you're not going to be taking prize cards with mills. And this way you can at least disrupt your opponent. You can play this card only if you have more. That's actually really cool. Running this in like a mill type deck to slow down to slow down your opponent. It's just finding space for it will be quite difficult. And Arc Fox, I definitely will. Um, that's some good fortune right there. You got the hot hand. Yeah, today today these pools have been on point. Hey, like I don't know where this luck came from, but it's been on point. So Mistrevis, Corfish, Ghastly, Houndor, Staryu, Kakuna, Axilagore, Stargavia. Stark Avia, what the what in the world was that? Soravia. Alright, we're getting a beautiful Altaria. Altaria, that is awesome card art. Flip a coin. If head switch deck for a dragon Pokemon and put it into your bench, then shuffle your deck. Beautiful card art for that Altaria. And the last one. Ah, it's a Hound Doom. Not terrible. I, I've gotten a lot of luck with Hound Dooms in the theme format. Um, Jax Max, I did win a couple of tournaments, so it was okay, I guess. That's the thing, like, yes, you traded away a card that was worth a lot down the line, but it gave you value. So, it's not that bad. Rimmeraid, Alolan Geodude, Dino, um, sorry, Bunnelby, um, Carablast, or Shallon. Once during your turn, you may discard a Shellman from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a card that evolved from this Pokemon, and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve, then shuffle your deck. Eh, that's pretty cool. Very strange card art. Um, dashing pouch. If the Pokemon this card is attached to... What? If the Pokemon this card is attached to, discard energy for its retreat cost. Put the energy into your hand instead of the discard pile. That's pretty cool, actually. Fighting memory. Makes still value. Fighting Pokemon. Diggersby. <laughs> Very pleased, Diggersby. Alright, we've got two here. What do we get? We get ourselves an Alola Marowak. That's shiny, shiny, shiny. For each energy attached to your po your opponent's Pokemon, attach a Fire Energy card from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like. That's really cool. 
and then burning boomerang. Flip two coins, stack the 70 damage for each heads. If either of them is heads, your opponent's axe poke must now burned. That's quite cool. Uh, I like that dance of flames though, that's really cool. And we've got ourselves a shiny slazzle with nasty plot of severe poison. It's a nice slazzle actually. Um, hey, I'm Jam18, I'd love to friend you. What's your username? It's literally uh, Mountain Spider. It's legit just Mountain Spider. Um, where do, I don't know how I can actually see it. It's legit just Mountain Spider. Exactly as you spell it. Uh, then send me the friend request. Alright. Let's see, what are we going to get? Uh, Bunnelby, Shelios, we do. I saw the friend request came through. I'll accept it now. Hey, Jam. Um, we do execute Pumpkaboo, Zwelios, got ourselves a Pillow Swine, a Peaking Red card? Your opponent reveals their hand. You may have your opponent count the cards in their hand, shuffle those cards into the deck, then draw that many cards. Eh. Uh, not terrible. Alone in Graveler. Eh. Uh, it's a shiny, which is nice, but it's not fantastic. And, uh, an Octillery. Not a great draw. Um, Drax Max, would you ever consider playing TCGO against viewers? I think that would be really fun, possibly a tournament. Uh, I have played it a few times. Um, like, if people are keen for games while I'm streaming, 100% yes. Uh, in, as soon as I finish these packs, I want to be playing with a deck. So if you guys want to play, 100% we can play. As for tournament, um, I've been playing with the idea of organizing my own tournament. Uh, I just, I haven't had the time. Uh, I've been really busy recently. Um, between running the YouTube channel, and I've just started DMing again for my D&D group, which means I'm writing a lot of content. So, my, like, my free time is a bit limited in the moment for planning and organizing a tournament. But, like, when I'm streaming, 100%, if you want to, like, play a game, we can play a game. Uh, I'm probably going to be opening packs the next, like, 15 or so minutes. But, like, I'm 100% down from games if you guys are keen for games. As soon as these 10 packs are open, um, I'll be quite keen to play some games. So yeah, let's keep going. Uh, but the tournament, I don't know, like when I have enough free time, I'm keen. Because I've also been playing in um, in tournaments myself. So because of that, I haven't had a lot of free time. Unfortunately, it's at a premium at the moment. Pain and fight, put two damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon that's any damage counters on it. That, that's quite cool. Uh, Lusamine. Put two and any combination of support cards and stadium cards from your discard pile into hand. Not bad. A Kakuna. And a shiny Regirock with Rock Peak Grow. Growl. Your Registeel's attacks do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Eh. Not fantastic, but it's not bad. And an S Cavalier. Fear attack. Um, flip three coins attack does 30 damage for each heads. Eh, not bad. Um... Rocket Tennis, I'm up for some games, and Jack Metz, I'm down to play. I just sent over a friend request. Oh, yeah, sorry, I need to accept, accept that. Um, yeah, so as I said, I'm going to be opening packs for a little bit, and then I'm definitely down for some games. So let's accept these quickly. So, yeah, I'm 100% down for some games today. I've got a new deck I want to show off, um, so I'll be super keen to play against you guys. All right, so let's get this going. Against all of you, sorry, not you guys. All right, so let's get this going. Exiligor. Lerion, Emolga, Corfish, and hello, Lolan Gollum GX. Um, Hammerin for 80. Super Electro Magnetic Tackle. This Pokemon has 50 damage to itself. For 200 damage attack, that's okay. And Heavy Rock GX. Your opponent can't play any cards in their hand during their next turn. I love that. That's really, really cool. Um, yeah, it looks super cool. <laughs> A Lolan Gollum's moustache has always just killed me. It looks so strange. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. I'm enjoying these packs. All right. Um, I love Cacnea. It's such a cool Pokemon. All right. Mill Tank, Moo Moo Malt. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 90 damage from that Pokemon. That's really cool. And counter energy. This uh, card provides one energy. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, and if this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX or EX, this card provides every type of energy, but provides only two energy at a time. Well, that's pretty cool. That's amazing. Oh my god, Cubone? <laughs> it's a very, like, proud Cubone. Mrs. Oh, hello, um, uh, Mrs. Steel. Steely OKFC. Welcome to the chat, my friend. 
Uh, is Cubone your favorite Pokemon? And a shiny Kerablast. And we get ourselves a Guru. Fixer of the forest. Put three Pokemon, two cards, and discard power into your hand. Pretty cool. All right. And John Ten Car. What up, player? What's up, player? Welcome, my friend. Uh, wow, the chat's doing really well at the moment. Welcome, everybody. It suddenly exploded. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's been able to join. Welcome. To, yeah, welcome to Twitch and welcome to the chat. Uh, let's keep this going. We've got some awesome pulls today. Um, on Graveler, Bundlesby, and a uh, Hadragon weed out. Not fantastic, but hey, you got to get the good with the bad. Um, hey, I'm Jam18. I've got to go. Thanks for stream. Thanks so much for coming by and thanks for taking part in the chat. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And yeah, I appreciate it. Tinchino and a Clay Primeape. Not so bad. All right. Um, John Tenkar, uh, first stream lol, been watching YouTube for a while. Hey, welcome to the stream then. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm glad you're able to now enjoy the stream as well. Um, keep the good vibes going. Yeah, like today's chat has been awesome. Thanks everyone. I really enjoy being able to actually sit down and chat to everyone. Like the community engagement is so great. I really love the Pokemon community. And uh, Wigglytuff, very angry Wigglytuff. Hypnoblast and Punishing Slap. If any of your opponent's Pokemon has any dark energy attached to it, this attack does 60 more damage. <laughs> nice, I like it. All right. So we've got five more packs to open today from the Shining Legends set. So let's see what we can get. John Tenkar, thoughts on Soaring Storm at the moment. I can't get any win streaks going. Oh, really? Um, <sighs> Soaring Storm can be a little bit difficult at, at times. Um... Let me like open these packs. Then I can. So soaring storm. It can be a little bit unreliable with the draws. Sophocles. How is this a new Sophocles? I've got so many of these. Lily. Uh, got ourselves a Hooper with Scoundrel Guard. Prevents all effects of attacks, including damage done to Pokemon. Done to this Pokemon by GX or EX, which is pretty cool. And ourselves a Palkia. Very nice. Um. It's probably just some bad luck. Uh, so taking a look at it quickly. So when you're looking at your Soaring Storm. Um, so I don't know how you're getting bad luck with Soaring Storm. Because like. I find this deck really, really reliable. Because I mean, you're able to set up quite easy with Thunderous and Tornadus. So Thunderous and Tornadus should be your, your core. With Lantern on the back as support. And Dragonite. Dragonite's basically support early mid game and then you finish off with a late game. Basically, you want to be running early game Load and Grimer uh, to getting collects off as much as possible. Really focus on getting your Pidgeotto's on your bench for AML as soon as possible. Honestly, Pokemon Communication, aim for Pidgeotto. You want to get this card going as soon as possible. And then your early game attackers really should be Thunderous Tornadus. Um, if you're running into a lot of bad games like. I don't know, are you getting just like really bad hands or what's happening? Um, because like I found that deck super, super reliable. I rarely have problems with that deck. Um, it is a bit combo-y. It is a bit combo-y, I'll give you that. Um, but I generally, be, generally tend to be pretty okay with the deck. Quite reliable with it. Oh hey, what is Zekrom? Um, that's pretty cool. Um, Story Storm is really good, but it can be streaky at times. I don't know, I, I don't find Story Storm that streaky. I find, like, Relentless Flame a lot more streaky. Um, maybe just some bad luck. Um, some starts I got today were just sad. <sighs> Look, it happens. Like, no matter how good your deck is, if you just have bad luck, bad pulls, I mean, uh, bad draws, it does happen. Spirit Tomb with Cursed Whirlpool, as long as Pokemon's your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon can't retreat. It's not bad, but it's just low on HP. Got another jungle totem Venusaur, which is really cool. And managed to open up a, another Hoopo Scoundrel Guard, which is really cool. Um, <laughs> Wigglytuff terrifies me. What, to be fair, if Wigglytuff was in real life walking towards you, I think anyone would be terrified. Um, let's just be serious about this. Um, I've been having pretty bad luck with Soaring Storms recently. Wow, I'm surprised by that. Like, I've had super good luck with Soaring Storm recently. And Latios, what is with all these legendary Pokemon? Like, all three of my last packs have been legendary Pokemon. That's amazing. That's really cool. And Soaring Storm really struggles against Relentless Flame, but everything really does. 
I don't know about that, hey? I've had really good luck against Soaring, against Relentless Flame with Soaring Storm. Um, yeah, I tend to do pretty decently with it. And another legendary Pokemon. I literally just opened like four packs of legendary Pokemon. Not great pulls, but just amazing. Like, the fact that there's like all legendary Pokemon. All right, those are gonna be the pulls for today, which is really, really cool. So I actually want to jump into some games against the viewers. Um, who was it that requested the match first? I'm trying to go through the chat quickly. Who's up for some games? So, uh, what I want to play before I say that. So what I want to play is I got a new deck, which I really want to give, give a try to. Um, I want to be playing the Garchomp and Giratina. So ideally I want to be playing either Standard or Unlimited. Um, so I can't remember who it was that suggested playing first, but chat, I definitely want to be having some games against you now. I think that'll be quite fun. So who's up for some standard games? Um, I th yeah, I think it was Jam, but Jam's now left. Um, Best of Frondona, are you up for a game? I think it was, ja oh, I think it was Jam. That was first. Um, oh, Jax Metz? Are you in the mood? Yeah, Jax Metz. I see you're, you're also one of the first ones that asked. So have a game against like, Jax Metz first. So what is your in-game, Jax Metz? So I can send you the uh, request. Yeah, I think Jax Metz, you're just after... Um, you were just after Hey Jam, but Hey Jam's just gone off, unfortunately. Um, yeah, Rakuten, I did see your request. I want to have a game against Jax Metz first because they were f they requested first. Um, and then I'll be more than happy to have a game against you, Racco Tennis. So sort of uh, send this request quickly so we can get going. Oh, getting jazz. There it is. All right, cool. Let's have a game. Uh, let's have ourselves a standard game and got from GX. So this is a deck that Jamie Viggy just sent me. I have not played this deck. So this is legit a first impressions um, with this deck. So I am super keen to see what this is. Um, let's see how this goes. I haven't like, I haven't, I literally opened up this pack, uh, briefly went through the cards. So this is going to be my first game with this deck. So let's see how it goes. Um, let's get this down first. I think. Let's get that down first. Let's see how this goes. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not sure how this deck functions exactly. I don't know. This is not. doesn't look like the best start for me, though. I'm not terribly enthusiastic about this start. Ghost Pokemon, yes! Let's run a Ghost Pokemon deck. I so rarely play with Ghost Pokemon. Um, let's go. Jack Spats, good luck. Let's see, what can we get going? So, I don't want this... I don't really want this in my hand. I want to get rid of this, ideally. Um, so, let's get that energy down there for now. <laughs> going up against Nuzzle deck. This is going to be interesting. Um... Let's Pokemon Communication. Let's get rid of... Let's put this back into my deck for now. And let's bring out... A... Haunter? Let's bring out a Haunter. And let's go pass. Okay. Um, best friend, uh, so ghost Pokemon are some of the coolest. Yeah, no, ghost Pokemon are really, really cool. Their lore is super dark. Like, if you actually read the Pokedex entries for them, they are terrifying. All right. Um, this is going to be a bit of a slower start than I would like, which is not ideal. Nicely gathering. Once you turn before you attack, you may search your deck for Pokemon as a Nuzzle attack. Reveal and put it into your hand. So I don't know how this deck's gonna run against Nuzlocke. Um, 
might be a little bit difficult, but let's see. If I can get Haunter out early enough, it'll be okay. But it's going to be a little bit difficult. Like, the starting guard from Giratina is not the best start for me. Because it's something I do like to build. I think it's better to build into. And the thing is, like, this Giratina doesn't actually do really well because my opponent tends to have a very wide bench. So GGN doesn't do anything. Okay. Hmm. This is a bit of an awkward start, actually. Bit of an awkward start. This is going to be a bit frustrating. So for each of your bench Pokemon, that is, that is the Nuzzle attack. Switch deck for a Lighting Energy card and attach it to that Pokemon. Yeah, this is going to hurt. I can, the chances of, of um, prizing all of them is super low. I mean, the deck does run Quick Ball as well, so it's not terribly difficult to get the deck uh, Emolk out. But yeah, getting the start, your first Pokemon as in the pitch, as in, um, <sighs> Pichirisu, sorry, I went blank there, Pichirisu, as your first active Pokemon and going second is awesome. Um, because it enables you to set up that much easier. Um, this is going to be a little bit difficult to come back from. A little bit. But let's see if we can do it. This is where I wish I was running a mill deck. <laughs> a mill against Nuzzling Gathering and the Nuzzled decks is hilarious. Okay, so let's get these going. Hopefully I can get a super scoop up. Yes. Goodbye. Let's go Haunter. Let's get Giratina down there. Let's get this energy down. Uh... Where do you want to get this? You're just going to switch out next turn anyway. Um, let's go down there. What's up with this connection problem? And let's get a new hand. Because unfortunately this was not a great hand. Uh, well, there's another one. And Acrobike, what can we get? Uh, I don't need Bench Barrier, so let's get the Pokemon Fan Club going. Alright, and then Sinister Fog. Uh, Jack Smith, I think you streamed Forest before. Yeah, something's up at the moment. Like, my connection is just really not good at the moment. I'm not sure what's happening. But my instant connection is not good. Yeah, my stream went down there. That's quite frustrating. I'm not sure what's happening with my connections today. Apparently my instance is not cooperating. Sorry to everyone who is watching it live. I can see everyone, basically all my viewers have dropped. Um, sorry about that. I don't know what's up with my instance at the moment. It's just not cooperating very well. Alright. What can I do? The problem is these two right shoes are a big issue. Yeah, I just see people are still having difficulty with my stream. That's really irritating. I'm quite liking this deck though, it's very interesting. Bit of a bad start, but I quite like this deck. Hmm. Man, I wish I'd play Mill right now. <laughs> Mill against Nuzzle is so fun. <laughs> Great catch up. Yeah. No surprise there. And then the switch out. I might just have like one more game. This is really getting irritating with this connection. So I'm out of the game against Rocco Tennis. Um, yeah, I might have a game against Rocco Tennis and then I might actually end it. I don't know what's happening with the stream. I don't like playing like this. 
Yeah, Giratina gets thrashed here. 100% gets thrashed. <laughs> well played. All right. Um, let's go into Haunter. Um, things, if you go another catcher, I'm pretty much it's game over if you do. Let's Pokemon Fan Club. Uh, let's bring that to my hand. And let's bring both into my hand. I might be able to use them. Then let's go Mysterious Treasure. Let's get rid of Giratina. And let's bring out a... Gengar? Let's bring out a Gengar. I don't know if I extra energies for that. That was a bit silly. Uh, let's go here and let's hit Giratina. Distortion door. Let's put those damage counters there. Choose two cards, but for them to put one damage count on each of them. So let's put one there and let's put one there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright. Let's get another Ghastly down. Um... And it's just spread small. Since the fog. Let's keep this going. Yeah, if it comes out to one more catcher, it's game. And like I know you're definitely running more of them. Yeah, my stream is not stable at the moment. Alright. Um, hi Jack Smith. Yeah, no, I saw sorry about that everyone. My net dropped completely there. I've just reset my um my routers, hopefully I can actually be able to play again now. I don't know what's happening with my connection today. Um, this is really, really irritating, actually. Okay, sorry about this, everyone. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I'm hoping it stops now with the reset. Why is my... F Everything is going wrong today. Like, I see my camera is also doing weird, weird things today. Let's change my light a bit. Today is apparently like awesome pool day, but like really bad luck, like stream luck day. All right, um, let's bring out that ghastly. Um, Cynthia, yeah, Cynthia is definitely gonna happen at the moment. So let's do this. Let's go, Cynthia. Let's see what we can get. Uh, not bad, actually, not bad at all. Um. That's Acrobike. Let me see what I can get with an Acrobike. Let's bring that in. Let's reset stamp. Let's drop a Radiant Forest. Let's charge up Giratina. And let's keep going. So Rocketon is rip. Yeah, sorry guys. I don't know what's up with the stream today. I'm really having issues with my internet. Which is odd, because I've been fine for a while now, but all of a sudden it's just been useless. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it goes okay. Yeah, that recess stamp was quite nice. I'm very happy by it. Well, with it, so not by it. Although I think it's a little bit l too late. GG and GX, discard one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, should do Haunted from a bench. Let's put this there. There. I can't even play Judge, I forgot. Okay. Um, I can't use GG End. Just go one of your opponent's Pokemon all cards attached to it. If this Pokemon has at least three extra fighting energy attached to it. In addition to this card. Oh, I've got three extra fighting energy? Oh, there's no way I'm going to get that off. Okay. Then this is game. Um, there's Calamitous Clash. I'll knock this out easily. Um, but that's it, unfortunately. Because there's still more than enough energies to get the knockout. Let's pick this up. Because it is 20 damage times. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. That's not enough. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So it's just, it's just not enough. Um... But hey, 
I'm presuming you've got a trainer card. Yeah, Electro Power. I thought so. Ah, boss's orders. Well played. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, Rocco Tennis. I don't know if you online them because I know, like, I'm just constantly dropping. All right. Thanks to the games, Jack Smash. That was really, really cool. That's a cool nuzzle deck, and you got it off to work really well. So congrats on that. Let me see if I can get a game against Rocco Tennis quickly. And then I think I'm going to actually call it because of this internet. So we see Rocco Tennis. Let's see if we can have a game, my friend. Because uh, I see you still online. Yeah, Jack Smash, that was really cool. Well played, my friend. Um, the deck really came together there. And like it shows off how awesome Nuzzle is. Uh, it's such a great deck. Okay, Rocketinus, let's see what you can bring to the table, my friend. Um, I'm enjoying this Giratina and Garchomp deck. I think I need a few more plays with it to, like, really get it going. Um, but hey, that's a much better start. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's get that down there. And let's get that down there. And let's pass for now. How do you get this GG end off? Discard one viewpoint's Pokemon and all cards attached to it. If this Pokemon has at least three extra fighting energies attached to it, discard two viewpoint's Pokemon instead. Rock tennis, good luck. I'm going to look off. Yeah, go for it, my friend. Uh, 100% to get that. How do I get this GG end off? I've basically got to have four fighting energies attached to this Pokemon. It's so difficult to get this attack off. So I've got to have four fighting energies and two psychic energies. So the psychic energies are easy because of Malamar. But the four fighting, that is so difficult to get off. Because like fighting energies, this is like zero acceleration for that. Man, that's difficult to get off. Oh, Mind Pop U2, Alt Art, very nice. Are we going to be seeing Zacian? Oh, this is the Blis Oh, I forgot, you have the Blacephalon deck, very nice. Can you see how my deck runs up against this? Oh, very, very nice. All right, let's see. Wow, that's a good turn one. GG, end is just too difficult to pull off it's to its full capacity. Yeah, it's very difficult to pull off. Wow, that's been a really, really nice start. Yeah, worth a try. All right, let's drop that Haunter down. Um, let's go for... Let's put that down there. I don't want to go for Hapu if I want to go for Lily. Uh, let me go for Lily first. Nah, not terrible, not bad either. Okay, let's go for Sinister Fog. At least the poison is now down, which is a good thing. And let's see what we can do. So a bit of spread damage with the Sinister Fog, which is quite nice. Um, 10 damage is not exactly enough, but it's able to get the Calamitous Slash off, which makes it a bit easier. Alright, here comes the Mind Blown. Okay, so Haunter goes down here, no big shocker there. But it does slow down the Blissephalon, which is quite nice. Alright, what do we get? Judge. Judge is not bad, but it's not what I want right now. So let me go for Hapu quickly. Um, that was not exactly what I wanted. So what I want is... I think another... Uh, Inkay, I've got a Mysterious Treasure already. 
Erica's hospitality would be a good draw for next turn. Um, but I need this fighting energy as well. Okay, I really, really want to try and get that ability off. Let's go for that. Let's get that down there. It's mysterious treasure. The Inke into a Malamar. Let's get Malamar down there. Let's go Malamar Saki Recharge to get your Tino and Garchomp online. Let's switch into them. And then let's go for Clamity Slash. For 240. This deck hits hard. This deck hits very, very hard. Is it Restroom Charizard Battle League deck giveaway tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'm doing the draw for it. Uh, well, the last day for entries is tomorrow. Um, so if you haven't entered yet, I would suggest doing it. So yeah, I'm, tomorrow is the last day to enter for that. And I'm announcing a new uh, giveaway tomorrow as well. Uh, I will, the video... Uh, the, the video announcing the winner for the Restroom Charizard deck will come out on Monday. Um, but I'm doing the draw tomorrow. So if you haven't entered your comment, I would suggest doing so. Alright. Um, let's get that NK down. Let's go for... Let me Acrobat, see if I get something useful. I did get something useful, actually. Let's grab that. Let's put that over there. And let's go for a Judge. Pretty decent, actually. Let's get the Ghastly down. Um, let's get the Acro back off, see what we get. Um, you know what? I want this for next turn, actually. Nothing else to do here. I might want to hold on to that energy. Um, how many do I have in here? I've got two. Actually, I can do it this turn. Let's get that across the Ghastly. And yeah, let's go for the Kalamata Slash. Let's get rid of the Jirachi. I got nowhere, unfortunately, of hitting that Cromorant, which would have been nice. All right. Just messed. Okay, sounds good. I already entered. Just wanted to know. Yeah, no, it's a really cool giveaway, and I'm really glad I'm able to do it. Um, I, I like doing giveaways, and I like giving back to the community. Because uh, like, I really appreciate all of you watching my videos, so being able to actually give back is awesome. Um... And it's a really good deck. Like, it's a really good deck. Um, you can play this card only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Search your deck for up to five, four, and... F f blah. Search your deck for up to four fire energy cards. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Oh, and then the Welder. Nice play. This got all energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 106 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And then Blacephalon, Blazer, turn... And Fireball Soak. Discard any number of Fire Energy cards from your hand. This attack does 50 damage for each card you discard this way. Yeah, that hurts. That can really, really hurt. I don't think you're going to get a knockout this turn, though. Turn one of your face down prize cards face up. If it's a Fire Energy card, this takes 50 more damage. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there won't be a KO this turn. And then Intrepid Sword to try and get more Fire Energies in your hand. Alright. So, let's get this Haunter down. Oh, I've now got all the fighting type energy I need, which is something. Uh, th this deck doesn't hit my bench. It can actually hit my bench. Let's get that down. Um, can I do it? One, two, three, four, five. I've got three extras. I can actually do it! Hells yes, let's do it. Let's do this. So, we're going to switch with Haunter. We're going to use this to charge up that. It was terrible today for some reason. Uh, I really do apologize. Um, Jack Smets, I don't recall your comment exactly as I said because there's so many of them. But I'm really glad I was able to get you back into it. It's it's so good hearing that. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. So I, I really am glad that, you're, that you, you've gotten back into it and that you're enjoying it. And also, I apologize again, everyone. Like, I'm really struggling at the moment with my connection. So, GG end. Yes, let's do it. And let's say goodbye.
to Blacephalon and let's say a goodbye to Cremorant. Um, yeah, let's get rid of those two. All right, that was pretty cool. I finally got the attack off. GGNGX went off. Woohoo! All right, I'm super happy about that. I'm so bummed like the stream is bombing out when such an awesome thing happened. Um, but I guess it is what it is. Once each player's turn, that player may discard an energy to card from their hand. If they do, they draw three cards. Uh, that Heat Factory is such a great card. Um, oh, I'm really glad I got that GG end off. <laughs> like, I don't care if I win or lose this game right now. I got GG end off. Oh, there's Fire Crystal. I should have got rid of the Specephalon instead. Okay, let's see. Are we going to be seeing a Welder? Yeah, there's Welder. How much are you swinging for? One, two. What are the chances? Okay, so you use Fire Crystal for three. Oh, okay, this is gonna hurt. I was gonna say, I don't think you have enough, but I think now you have enough. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is definitely gonna hurt. Yeah, there's 300. Oh man, well played. Should've gone rid of this Blacephalon, that was a mistake on my side. I got cocky there. I didn't think you'd be able to pull off that much damage on a single turn. Um, let's bring out this Haunter. I think you've now got the game from that mistake of mine. Let's go take Nisa for a new hand. I should've actually played that energy on Haunter first. That was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. Let's Cherish Ball. And let's go into this. Let's drop that down there. Let's go Psychic Recharge. And let's charge there. Let's put that there. Six Melamar going. Let's charge up here. Let's retreat. Let's go for Linear Attack. Uh, who do you have the least like, HP? I think it's the dinner. Does it have any gusting cards? Um, I don't think so. I'm not that familiar with this deck. As I said, I, I literally just got it. And this is my second game with the deck. Um, but I don't think so. Alright. Can my opponent pull that trigger off again? No, they can't. I basically, I need to draw fire in, uh, fighting energy now. I'm okay with reset stamp. And let's go for Cynthia. Alright. Um, didn't get what I needed. Which is a bit of an issue. Um... Let's get that down there. Let's go for linear attack. Let's put 40 there. It's gonna take forever to get through it like, this way, but I actually should put 40 on the Dedene. Yeah, resetting down to one is brutal, especially against the Blacephalon deck. It's absolutely brutal. Okay, I just need a fighting energy. I need a fighting energy so bad right now. No, actually, yes, that works. Okay, so once you each player in the play, I might discard a card from the hand if they do. Yeah, so let's discard Duratina. Let's say, oh, no, I've got no more fighting energies in my deck. Oh, that is a problem. Okay, let's play Duratina, Distortion Door. Mmm, that's a problem. Okay. Um, okay, what we can do is... We can go Hapu. And what I want to do is I want to get Gengar. And I want to get a Switch. I'm going to play Gengar down there. 
yes. Let's put that damage there. I can get a knockout this turn. Let's charge up that Gengar. Alright. And then let's get that knockout onto Dedene. And there is the fighting energy. So as long as my opponent can't win this turn, it's game. Because the thing is, that Gengar just wouldn't have knocked out the Blacef uh, Blacephalon. So now the question is, do they have enough energies left? There's seven in the discard pile. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I'm scared. They might have this. They might just have this. Because the thing is, my opponent needs six, six fire energies in their hand. They've played two fire crystals already. The deck runs four. Um, no. Okay, that's GG then. Because I got uh, managed to draw my energy. So there's the fighting type energy. And that's the end game. That was a super tight game. Well played, Rucko Tennis. Well played, my friend. That was a super tight game. All right. So that is where I'm going to call it today. Today was a really awesome day with some really fantastic pools. And I really enjoyed playing against the community. So thanks for that. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I do apologize for the like the stream quality today. I don't know what's up with my internet. Um, unfortunately, it is what it is. Um, Rick Tennis, GG, my friend, 100%, yeah. That was, a, that was a really close game, though, so super well played. Thank you for that. So, once again, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you did enjoy it. And as